Okay, we're going to take a look at uh, Shunk's work holding product or series of products, uh, the WDP, which is primarily obviously for five axis. And this, uh, this is a situation where the workpiece is mounted uh, from the underneath and the risers, uh, you know, just you can see in the picture how it's set up. So let me kind of explode this view a little bit before we get started and that way we can take a look at um, how this stuff is uh, <clears throat> how this stuff is interfacing to each other so let me get rid of uh, well yeah this is a good way to highlight so we have a base unit that is going to interface with the table and then we have these risers and then we have individual components that will actually uh, mount to the workpiece so depending on what you want to do, if you have a set of these, you know, you can build each one as a modular component and then you can stack them up just like in real life like you would on the machine. So I'm going to get rid of this stack right here and let's take a look at this. So I'm going to kind of explode the view. We're going to move this up in two inches maybe and then we're going to move this one up a couple of inches. We're going to move this one up a couple of inches. <clears throat> and you can see now more easily uh, what's going on. So these three components with the workpiece mounted to them. So you have your machine, and then you have your base unit that you would select. And then you would come in and pick you know, all these individual uh, components that mount in between the base unit and the unit that interfaces with the workpiece and then we would mount the workpiece to the top. So as I go through this, you can see that um, the table reference point is the center and I'm shifted at 4.25 over. If I make this a zero, if I zero this out, when I make my base unit, we want the base unit so that it is sitting wherever I want that res reference point to appear, okay? Now, the next workpiece, when I define my next fixture, ad fixture adapter position, you can see that this is on this base piece. This is located at the top center of this base piece. So what will happen is this one will mount to that, and you have this face here interfacing with this face. So when I create this workpiece, um, I want that reference position to be at the same Z height as this one, which would be basically the XY plane centered. So when I look at that, <clears throat> and I come in here and I zero this back out. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> okay, let's get this one, zero this one out. So you can see that that is located right there at the center, okay? So if I look at any of these, and we'll start with the base plate, if I look at this and I bring up my, <clears throat> my uh, modules, we'll go to the table, and I think it's this one. So when we create each individual component, we're going to want to pay attention to those locations. Okay, this is the base unit, the CAD model, downloaded directly from Shunk's website. And if you have this model or any of the models, uh, pretty much all of the things that we're going to do will apply. It's just that the models look a little bit different. So this unit interfaces directly with uh, the machine table. And you can look at this from the side and see that uh, it's not oriented correctly. So first of all, the the bottom of the unit is not at the zero point and then the I guess normal axis to the machines table is along Y instead of Z so to change this we have a very quick way of doing this in a spree we're gonna go ahead and just pick this bottom face that interfaces with the table and under your ribbon you have all these different tool uh, tabs or function tabs. So we have the home tab and we're going to come here to these align commands right here. 
So this is a line X. We want to pick this little, there's a little arrow at the bottom. We're going to pick a line Z. And when we do that, you'll notice that the normal vector is pointing the opposite way. So what the function did is it did zero out at the XY plane, the face that we wanted, which is correct. But we got the opposite uh, movement of the part. So we want the vector to actually go inward toward the fixture because the fixture is going to sit on the table like this and we want the z-axis going up. So we still have that face selected and to do this we hold the shift key on the keyboard and we click that command again. So Esprit has both ways, you know, you can, you can get that um, either, you can get either result depending on whether you hold the shift key on the keyboard or not. So if you're only doing the command by itself, it's going to always put the vector opposite so that the vector is moving away from the solid model. If you hold the shift key and do it, you will always get it coming inward. So uh, when you're making the holders and stuff, you usually just pick a line Z because the holder, you know, you have the holder hanging down here, but on the table, you want the opposite. So for fixed string components, you're going to want to hold the shift key. Now here, um, the x-axis is pointed sideways. So typically, most machines, I think, have the x-axis going side to side from the machine operator. So with these host connections, I'm just going to leave it the way that it is. Uh, but you can rotate the model. Um, you, know, you should know how to rotate things, but you can right click, say select all. You could right click again, say copy, and then you could pick rotate, and then you could put move and an angle. Uh, I'm not going to do this, I'm just going to leave it the way that it's oriented now. So now what we want to do is make the location that the next fixture component that will, you know, come down here. And if you remember, that is going to be at the center of this face, right around, you know, here. So what what we want is really the, the work plane just needs to shift upward to here. So what we've done first is we've positioned our model in 3D space so that it's sitting where it would appear on the machine table reference, which is here. Now this next component is going to sit here, so we want to create that reference position. So we're going to come here to the same ribbon. We're going to come here and select Translate. Okay. So when we pick this command, we're going to move our mouse. And as I do this, we get these highlighted uh, faces and outlines in green. So you'll see that as I move my mouse around, I move it to the center over here. It's going to automatically give me like a snap point. And you can see just to the bottom right of my crosshairs for my cursor, that little circle appears with an X. It's kind of hard to see the X in the circle, but that indicates the center point. So as I move this here, I'm just going to digitize with the mouse, and it went ahead and just moved this uh, UVW work plane to the center of this top face. So I'm just going to say, <clears throat> create a new uh, plane and here we're going to call this a fixture adapter underscore one F a underscore one so F a stands for fixture adapter I'm going to say enter and that is our reference location for the next component you know if you wanted to um, create another fixture component or reference uh, for another fixture component. So, you know, in the video, I had two of these. So what you can do is say, oh, you know what? I'm probably going to put another one of these because it's very rare to have one of these just by itself. So I might use two. And what I might want to do is say, okay, let's go back to XYZ, so we're down here again, and now let's just shift this over, so I'll hit translate, and down here on the lower right it says give me a value. 
So I'm going to say minus, let's say, 8 inches, 0, 0. And what I could do here is say fixture adapter. <clears throat> um, you know, we'll call this uh, another, uh, for another machine table interface, we'll call this a uh, base fixture 2 or something. And if I have that, what'll happen now is if I put a stack here and then I take another one of these and I reference that to this one and I put a stack on that one, if I move this one, both stacks will move together. So you can do this or you can not do this. You can make a separate one. It's not a big deal. Uh, but that's a little trick that if you do it, you can have both options. So you can make two of these stacks and reference it from this one solid. So when I translate this solid and I move it around on my machine table, my entire fixture stack will move because this one will be referenced exactly eight inches. And you can move that from this reference point to wherever you want. Um, so you have full control over that. So basically, uh, you know, we're done. We've, we've created this reference position. So we can go to File, Save As, come down here to uh, Fixture File, and I'm going to go to my Data folder. We'll go to Fixtures. I have a Shunk folder, and then we've got Modules for the W. DP 5-axis system here. And then I have these three folders, machine table interface, and that was this one here. Okay, so for the next component, this is a height adjustment module. And again, this is uh, loaded in directly from the step model that I downloaded from Shunk's website. And you can see that this also has it aligned with Y. So what I want to do is first grab this and again you want to hold the shift key when you do your align Z and that is going to place this unit and we can see that the Z0 is it looks like it's at the correct level because this is the face that's going to interface or mount to the top of the base unit that we just did and now, you know, we're going to have another one. The one that, work, that, the one that is going to uh, mount on top of this is going to be the one that mounts to the workpiece itself. So uh, what we want to do here, uh, this is now positioned. The model itself is positioned where we want it to appear on top of the prior uh, work holding item. But now we want to create the new reference point like we did before. We're going to use this translate command. We're going to move down to here. We're going to come to uh, fixture adapter underscore one. And I guess I should mention, if you think that you're going to mount the workpiece to the top of this, you would come here and do a workpiece adapter underscore one as well so that you can mount the workpiece. You have to have the workpiece adapter as well so that you can mount your actual stock and, and workpiece inside of Esprit. So we're pretty much ready to go ahead and save this out. We're going to go to File, Save As, and come down to the uh, fixture type again and uh, go back to fixtures, shunk, etc. So if you want to go ahead, I have the uh, same, you know, the height adjustment right here. I've got the three products already made. I'm going to hit Cancel. Let's do the next one. And here is the uh, basically the last component out of the three types. This is the uh, workpiece interface component. And once again, this is basically a repeat. It's a long Y, so we're going to grab this bottom uh, flat uh, face that is going to mount to the uh, height adjustment. And we're going to go ahead and hold Shift and pick a line Z. And then here at the top, this is where our workpiece is going to sit. It's going to be mounted flush to the top here. So we're going to go to Translate. We're going to move our mouse down to where we can pick this uh, highlighted top face right there. I'm going to come here to 
uh, WA underscore one workpiece adapter. You know, we're not going to be mounting another fixture. This is specifically designed to mount to the workpiece. So we just need a WA right here. And now we can come to File, Save As, come down to Fixture File, and go to our data, browse to wherever we want to save this, and we're ready to go. So just as a recap, we're going to go ahead and do this from scratch. We're going to come to load a fixture on the machine. And under data, you've got your fixture folder. We're going to go to Shunk Modules WDP. And then we'll start with the table interface. And we'll start with that first one. This one is here. I'm just going to go ahead and shift this uh, 4.5 in X. So we're there now. Now, what I can do here is come here and just say, all right, let's add another fixture. And here we're going to add a height adjustment. And we can do any of the three that, um, you know, if you've created multiple, they're different heights here. We'll just pick this big one. And I'll say, OK. And then we're going to do another fixture since that one is highlighted. We'll come here to work piece interface. And again, they have different ones, and you can uh, pick the one that you want to do. So we have that. So we're OK there. So once you've created this one, we're going to come back to this one, and we'll say Fixture. And we'll come back to Table, and we'll add one of these. And now we can likely grab this and say Copy, and I'm going to paste that here and say apply and now we see that we have the same uh, setup on each of this and now on this top one we're going to come to workpiece and I'm going to shift this 4.5 in the negative direction and we have our full setup and now what I was saying before was if I want to edit something here, I could control the whole thing from this one. So if I came in here and I shifted this, let's say uh, whatever the distance is on those slots, it looks like that's a little off, but whatever. I can move just this one component and uh, put it wherever I want. So. Uh, negative 2.5 or whatever. Uh, you could put it whatever, wherever you want on the table. Um, if I built this from zero and I wanted to do, move this over four and a half at this point, the entire uh, fixturing setup can be controlled from this one because I had that additional fixture location set up there. So anyway, um, that uh, completes how to build your fixturing components for this Shunk work holding product, and you can use it now in Esprit simulation.